the practice of law is not a natural, absolute, or constitutional right to be granted to everyone who demands it. Rather, it is a high personal privilege limited to citizens of good moral character with special educational qualifications, duly asserting and certified. For the past 10 years, Attorney Luis have been engaged in the practice of law. Among Attorney Luis's practice of law is his being a legal consultant of multinational corporations. Ah, uh, sir, yes, sir. Um, I have already gone dun sa mga joint venture agreement na sinunod sa akin. So, um, sinunod ko na rin siya kasama yung mga incorporated amendments na okay sa company mo. So, ngayon, um, may convey for the board dun sa pagpapasa ng resolution na ginagrant kayo ng authority. Then, uh, after that, we may proceed with the project. Hello, attorney. Ah, uh, yun lang ba? Ah, uh, okay. I'll just call my secretary. No? As usual naman, siguro we'll close the deal. Uh, sigurado naman yan. Uh, anyway, thanks again, attorney Luis. Ha? Thank you. Um, hindi sir, thank you pa rin sa inyo kasi um, I've been working for you five years up until now. Okay, so thank you sir. Um, Taba ko na to. Thank you. Good morning, attorney. Nandito na po si Ms. Peters from Koyan Corporation. Papapasukin ko na po ba siya? Oh, morning. Ah, oh, let her in. Thank you. Please have the fitness keepers. Oh, Miss Peters, thank you for coming. Attorney! No, oh, thank you for including me in your schedule for today. Um, by the way, as um we have uh, conversed on the last time we talked over the phone. Um, have you talked to the union president? Yes, Miss Peters, I have already talked to the president. Um, according to him, he, uh, he employs only one a um, hazard pay in the inclusion of salary, considering the, the dangers of the mining company. So, according to our laws, we need to give them for at least. 25% of their current pay. I have also tried um, talking with your personnel and your accounting staff since uh, you instructed me. With this, um, the corporation are only giving 1% of your annual income and the reports are here if you wish. Oh, that's okay. I'll have it. Uh, I'll let you meet Attorney Wall. 
our legal counsel in Beijing branch to collaborate with this. Mm. But I have to go. I have to see you soon. Thank you. Okay. Attorney Wall then finally met with Attorney Luis. The collaboration worked well. Poyan Corporation were able to continue its operation and beat the deadline for the shipment of the mineral ores. And the employees have a secure workplace. And the hazard pay is now included on their remuneration. Another practice of law to which Attorney Luis ventured into is his being a member of an international environmental forum for climate justice. Sometimes we simply just have to find a way. The moment we decide to fulfill something, we can do anything. And I'm sure that the moment we start behaving as if we were in an emergency, we can avoid climate and ecological catastrophe. Humans are very adaptable. We can still fix this. But the opportunity to do so will not last for long. We must start today. We have no more excuses. Wake up, generation! Wake up, adults of the modern time! Let's put all our differences aside and let us bring the children's hope and dreams back. People and the media approach Attorney Luis after the event. Hola, Attorney Luis. I really admire your speech. As the <laughs> Prime Minister said, you are really great. It would be an honor to have you on our one of our environmental uh, forum in Lisbon. Should I send you a formal letter or invitation? Well, that would be an honor. It is not about the knowledge, but it's about the application of such knowledge to put in use. That is a great opportunity for me. Hi, Attorney Louis. Hello. Attorney Torres. By the way, I'm Lina Pitt from Australia and I heard your speech a while ago and it was very amazing. And oh, by the way, I agree with your study. So would you like to conduct a study here in the Philippines? Yes, of course. Yeah, and I remember you advancing three points on climate justice and environmental issues. What was that again? Wakaru, konnichiwa, mina, ka, wa Haru daiki Japan daihyo so 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 kana nareru ryo ina chori esta so na ikute ba ah wakaru konnichiwa minna o genki desu ka koko de mina chan ne de kyo daisho ao watashi wa To what honor do I owe this call? Hello, my friend. I was calling to ask if you could maybe come to our university to be a panel about various school functionalities. You know, your reputation as an expert in the subject is well known in the area. Oh, just say yes, my friend. Then yes, it is. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Attorney Luis one day, while he is checking his calendar for the week, it appears that his schedule is too tight. He will be out of the country.
on Wednesday, he is supposed to attend the mediation consolation with the union president and other officers. He then taught of his Chinese collaborating lawyer, attorney Wall. On Thursday, he needs to teach his class on environmental law and natural resources. And there, he thought of attorney Torres, the man he met from Lisbon, Portugal. And on Friday, he is supposed to attend as a panel adjudicator in legal researches and study for public international law class. He thought of attorney Ahasa, the brilliant mind behind several published books under international law. Is a foreign lawyer who is invited as a guest lecturer engaged in the practice of law? What if he lectures for several months? What if the platform of his lecture is an online method wherein the professor is residing abroad and his students or attendees resides here in the Philippines? Manila, I'll keep coming back to Manila Simply ain't no place like Manila Manila, I'm coming home Manila